Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that I have noticed is uh, a bit of a challenge for a lot of people. Uh, this comes up in uh, the International Toss and Fetch League, uh, Skyhound local competitions, that sort of thing. And it is how to set up a field that is shaped like this for your canine disc competition. So. For the sake of this here, we'll go ahead and just call it a Skyhounds field. That is who uh, came up with this design. I'm going to show you guys how you can lay this out um, with just a few tools in 10 minutes or less. Really, it just depends on how fast you walk, to be honest. So, uh, to get started, uh, there's a few things you need. Um, so, the first thing that you're going to need uh, is uh, three stakes. So... Uh, you can pick those up at your local hardware store, basic tent stakes work, anything you got lying around the house that'll stick in the ground and hold firm for you is fine. Second thing you need is two tape measures, um, preferably they will be at least uh, 100 feet long, and you can get those on Amazon for 10-12 bucks a piece, and there's something that uh, once you get you can kind of hold on to forever. So. Good thing to have if you're going to engage in the sport of disc and set up competitions and be someone that runs that type of thing. So this is how you set up this field. It's real easy. You can do it super fast. Uh, I know that when I first started playing, it was a bit of a challenge to figure out how to do this. Uh, and then I started doing a little math and kind of going back to uh, elementary, middle school to figure out. So I'm really quickly going to walk you through the methodology here if you want to know the minutiae of the numbers, shoot me a message, we can talk about it. But uh, what you really need to do is look at it from how this develops from the middle. So this is the center line of our field. And if we look at the field here, uh, obviously it's 10 yards wide at the end and 20 in the middle. So when we kind of take a look here at what we can do is we can draw some imaginary lines here um, obviously this goes all the way down and we've got the same thing uh, over here so um, it's pretty simple to see uh, we've got five yards here and five yards here um, what we also have pretty conveniently is a right angle so there's two right angles pretty simple um, obviously with the way the field set up we've got ten yards here in the middle and we can go ahead and cut that in half, which is super convenient. And then get another five yards and another five yards. Uh, we can then draw this to here. And if you can kind of follow what's going on, you will see that we have basically developed an additional set of uh, right angles or right triangles. Um, Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> Lovely little math formula, right? So uh, we're able to do some math here. We know that this piece here is 25 yards. This is five. Uh, I won't bore you with the math. What that basically amounts to is this line from here to here is 76 and a half feet. Uh, that's going to hold true all the way around. Now, since we basically built identical right triangles into uh, our field here, so uh, all these uh, are identical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight of them. Uh, what we can do to build this field and build it super fast is start by building our center line. So you're actually going to build the field from the inside out. Okay. So what you need to do to get the whole thing set up is start by measuring your 20 yard center line, okay? So this is step one. You're gonna draw your tape measure out 60 feet. You're gonna take your three stakes and you're gonna put one on each end at zero um, and 60 feet. And then you're gonna put one right here in the middle at 30, okay? so. That's step one. Step two is we're gonna take the end of each tape measure. So we're gonna hook one onto a stake here. 
it's nice to have those uh, roll out tape measures that kind of spin like a wheel and we're going to hook the other one to the middle here and then what we're simply going to do is draw each one out to 76 and a half feet so draw one from here out 76 and a half feet draw one from here out 76 and a half feet and wherever they meet pull them both as tight as you can wherever that 76 and a half foot point on each tape measure crosses and it's only going to cross at one point is this corner here go ahead and mark that with a cone if you're interested in painting lines um, you can go ahead and drop a stake here so that you'll be able to draw some strings out eventually. And that is going to be this corner. Okay. While you've got this tape measure on the ground, this one here, uh, in order to establish where these cones and these cones will go, by the way, this stretching of 76 and a half feet was step two. Um, you're going to look at, and again, I won't bore you with the math. This is your zero point, right? So you're gonna kind of measure going this way. At 15 feet and about three and a half inches. You've got a cone here, okay? Follow your tape measure down. And at about 45 feet, 11 inches, again, this is your zero point. So at about 45 feet and 11 inches, you've got a cone here. Again, if you plan to paint this, you're simply going to put additional stakes here, which is going to obviously increase your supplies. Uh, and then you'll be able to draw strings from here and across. So that's going to build uh, this line. And honestly, you're just going to you're just going to do it four more times. So. That's why I said you can do this in under 10 minutes. It really kind of depends on how fast you want to walk. So the way I like to do it is to build this corner, then this corner. That way I can leave my tape measure attached here uh, and attached here. So I'll go ahead and walk my butt down here uh, and just do the same thing. 76 and a half feet, 76 and a half feet. Uh, pull them tight. I, I promise you they'll only meet at one spot. Don't trust your eye. A lot of times when you do this, it doesn't look right. Uh, visually until you're finished. So just pull both these tape measures as tight as you can. Uh, grab 76 and a half feet right with your thumbs and, four, and, and uh, index finger like this. Wherever they touch, that's where you're gonna drop this corner cone. Uh, and I promise you this field will come out absolutely geometrically perfect. Uh, you'll have your 20 yard center, your 10 yard end zones. All these will be set right. Uh, from this point, like I said, 15 feet, three and a half inches, that's where this one goes. And 45 feet, 11 inches, again, that's from this point, that's where this one goes. All you gotta do is repeat that process four times and you have a perfect toss and fetch field. If you don't feel like doing it every week, uh, just draw this out with some string, buy the cheap stuff, uh, run, run some paint over it and you'll be good for quite a while. So anyone has any questions on that, wants to know a little bit more, uh, let me know, but it's a super quick process and super easy once you kind of understand how the math on this thing works and it's uh, something you can get done real quick, no problem. So appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and uh, everyone have a good time playing fetch with your dogs. Take care.